Hi, welcome my dear kids for online class. Subject Science Standard 5th Term 1 Unit 1 And our topic is Organ Systems. Dear kids, look at this picture. What you have seen? Yes, there are many organs. Bones, lungs, heart, brain, kidney, liver and pancreas. What is an organ? A cell is the building block of everything. Living thing. Example, muscle cells. A group of similar cells working together make a tissue. A group of different tissues working together make an organ. Example, heart. A group of different organs working together make an organ system. In this lesson, we are going to discuss about digestive system. Introduction. Look at this picture. What is the girl is doing? Yes, she is eating an apple. We get energy from our daily activities from the food we eat. How is the food converted into energy? It is through the process called digestion. What is digestion? Digestion is the process of breaking down food into nutrients. The process of changing food in your stomach so that it can be used by the body. It is called digestion. The next one is the digestive system. The food we eat consists of complex compounds like carbohydrates, proteins, fats. They have to be converted into simpler molecules like glucose, amino acids, proteins, fatty acids respectively. The digestive system can be divided into two parts. There are digestive tract and digestive glands. We are going to see about digestive tract. It is another name is elementary canal. Now we are going to see how the digestion happened inside our body. Are you all ready? Shall we go to inside our body? Yes. Anyone knows where is the digestion begins? It is begins inside our mouth. We are inside our mouth. What you are seeing? Yes, tongue and teeth. Tongue, it is not only one muscles. It is a group of muscles. Teeth, there are four types. What is the color of the teeth? Yes, white color. Types, incisors, canines, premolars and molars. What is the function of the teeth? Incisors. Biting and cutting. Canines. Sharp and pointed to cut. Premolars. Grinding. Then last one is the molars. Same as premolars but it is larger in size. These are the pictures. Tooth are making food into small pieces and also grinding it. When you chew your food, it is break big pieces into small pieces that are easier to digest and swallow. Saliva get added to this food. Food becomes a thin paste. This is the picture. Which way to go? There are two ways. One go to to the foot pipe, another go to the wind pipe. Now we are going to the foot pipe. Wind pipe, foot pipe and pharynx. Foot travels from esophagus to stomach. Foot pipe is also called esophagus. Now we are entering to the stomach. 
Okay, see, what is this? This is the liquid. There are gastric juices. They make food aid to melt. These are also called acid. The gas gastric juice. It is a stomach is a J shaped sac like organ. At the end of the esophagus, this is help break the food into smaller pieces. Water, salt, sugar and simple sugar can be absorbed in the stomach. Food is just traveling into small intestine. Now we are in the small intestine. Most of the digestion happens in the small intestine. Small intestine. Most of the digestion happens here. The next one is the bile pancreas. Bile produced in the liver but it is stored in the gallbladder. Breaks down and fats. This is the villi. It is produced in the liver pancreas. It helps in digestion. Small intestine is about 22 feet long. Now we are seeing this. The small intestine inside the villi. Pancreas secretes the juice to reduce the acidity of the same. This is the three parts of duodenum. Jejunum and ileum. Small intestine parts are duodenum, jejunum and ileum. Say it once again. What are the parts? Duodenum, jejunum and the ileum. Small intestine is the very big part of the stomach. The next we are moving to the large intestine. It is the has small holes. It is the last section of the digestive tract. Water is absorbed here. The large intestine carries the remaining food out of the body as waste. Now its food wa waste, it's go out from the body through the anus. Look at this picture. Large intestine, water is absorbed here. Now the food waste is go out from the body through anus. Anus is the last part of the digestive system. Stomach takes 6 to 7 hours to digest the food. The second one is the digestive glands. Three important glands associated with the process of digestion. The first one is the salivary glands. Second one is the pancreas. Third one is the liver. The first we are going to see about salivary glands. There are three glands. Parotid, sublingual and submandibular. Salivary glands secrete saliva which moist and fudge. The next we are going to see about pancreas. Pancreas Produces pancreatic juice which contain digestive enzymes and fats, proteins and carbohydrates. Next one, liver. Liver produces bile for the digestion of the food. This, is, this picture helps to understand the digestive system. Starting from the mouth to the anus. The next one we are going to see about the flow chart. The flow chart start with the mouth and end with the anus. Mouth, buccal cavity, pancreas, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine and the anus. And the length of this starting from the mouth to anus is 6 to 9 meters. This picture is shows as the how normal human digestive system could be okay now i am going to check here the first one is the question answer choose the correct answer what is the length of the elementary canal 
the options are 3.5 526 9 to 11 699 the answer is 6.9 name the salivary glands in your mouth what is the answer anyone guess yeah we already saw and discussed about this c these are the three types of glands salivary glands or parotid glands sublingual and submandibular glands secrete approximately 1.5 liters of the saliva every day next we are going to see about the last question list out the functions of the digestive system anyone say the answers yeah it is ingestion of food it means taking in food secretion of fluids and digestive enzymes mixing and movement of food and wastes through the body digestion of food into smaller pieces absorption of nutrients the last one is the excretion of waste i hope you are understanding this topic clearly today's your homework is read the detailed question and write down the three times the next class we are going to discuss about the respiratory the next class we are going to learn about the respiratory system thank you so much for watching this video dear students do your homework and submit to me we will see the next class thank you all